Wings on! Us! Us! Make sure you bow. Pull! Pull! Good girl! Pull! Us, us. Good evening, come on, well, guest Genki Deska. Hope you're well. Uh, hope you um, uh, enjoyed seeing our little mascot there, Holly. Um, uh, good evening. Welcome to Tuesday evening, and uh, welcome to um, uh, karate in my own dojo. So in my kitchen, we've had a move around. Uh, we've moved the kitchen table out of the way to try to create a little bit of space for Kata this evening. Now, uh, for the best one in the world, I've said to you before about um, Kata. I've tried to uh, create uh, enough space to do it properly, and it, there just isn't enough space to do it. There is space to do it properly, but not to film. Uh, I disappear behind the fridge freezer, things like that. So um, what we're going to do this evening is, is focus on the start of uh, the first five Hian Katas, uh, talk a little bit about them, talk about what, what, why we do Kata and my understanding of it. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my history in kata because it's not pretty, but I think um, it would be good to to share um, uh, that with you. Um, the one thing I would say is that you do need to make sure you've got a little bit of space for Hien Shodan. Uh, Nidan, Sandan, Yondan and Godan, they don't need a great deal of space, so we can do that within that one metre square. But Hien Shodan, um, you might need to shorten your stance a little bit. I'm going to have to shorten mine a little bit uh, just to be able to get into the camera frame. Um, Try and give you as much information as possible. I really need feedback on whether this works as a format for, for Kata in particular, if that's okay, uh, at, the, at the end of the session or over the next few days, that'd be really helpful. And then I've got a challenge for everybody. Uh, I've got a challenge um, at the end of tonight's session, um, which I think you're gonna like, uh, especially the juniors um, and the black belts less so. But uh, before we uh, move forward, just gonna quickly say hi to a few people. Sorry if I get ridiculously close to the uh, camera. Uh, right, so uh, us, uh, Antonio Samperi Sensei, us from Italy, nice to see you, us, us, Andy Sensei, us, a good evening young man, uh, Kayla, us, Kayla, uh, us, uh, Caleb Mahari, us, us, good evening, good evening, I hope you uh, young Jedi's are well, uh, us, Huxtable Clan is in, good, us, good evening everybody, and uh, uh, Holly's the cutest from Beth, yes, agreed, everybody thinks that. Um, uh, Us Sensi Ken, good evening, good evening. Us Thomas Sun, good evening. Uh, Robot Dojo, good to see you all. Us uh, Steve, good evening. Us, thank you for joining again, sir. Much appreciated. Uh, Ashley's happy she's seen Holly. Uh, Us Andy, um, please look after yourself. I know you're not well. Sensi Andy's not been well. Us Grace, good evening. Uh, Us Sensi Carl, good evening, mate. I hope you like that throwback from the other day, the little photograph that I put on Facebook. Um, quite a while ago that was. Uh, from Isaac, good evening. Us, Kombanwa, Wayne. Uh, us, Rob, good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, and Sensi Sharon, good evening, good evening. Uh, right, us. So we'll get the lesson started. Um, if I disappear at a camera shot, um, I've got no one here to tell me. <laughs> so, because uh, the whole dog's going to be taken out for a walk in a minute. So I will do my best to try and keep this lesson um, as interesting as possible uh, and as active as possible whilst uh, uh, hopefully teaching something and just training. Really this is about training, it's not about teaching, um, it's about us all just having a go and keeping our brains and bodies active and thinking about karate even though we can't meet in the dojos. So uh, we'll do a bow just to start with and a little bit of a warm up. Okay so arms forward, just nice rotations. Okay, yeah, and backwards, each me, sun, chi, go, rock, switch, hot, go, jo. Okay, one forward, one back. Each me, sun, chi, go, rock, switch, hot, go, jo. And forwards, each me, sun, chi, go, rock, switch, hot, go, and jo. Okay, arms out. Each me, sun, chi. Go, rock, sit, hot, go, and jo. Okay, arms forward, each knee, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hot, go, jo, and side. Each knee, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hot, go, jo. And up, each knee, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hot, go, jo. Okay, forward, side, and up. 
Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, rok, sich, hach, ko, jiu. Okay, and relax. Okay, just take the right arm forwards, left arm forwards, left arm back, right arm back. And just relaxing again, making sure those arms are nice. Just, okay, hands, wrists, backwards and forwards, just relax. And the other side. Okay, then take the elbow in and relax the elbow and the hand. And then take the shoulder and then just relax everything. So let the arm just drop. Other side, wrist first, then the elbow, and then the shoulder joint. Okay, so top of the body should be nice and strong, nice and relaxed. Stretch forward from stance. You can remember it's longer than normal stretching. And twisting the other way. And back to the front on the ball of the foot. And we're not taking too long to do the warm up, so in these sessions we just want to get the blood going a little bit. I'm just going to turn the other camera because I can hear myself, which is never a good thing. And I think you might be getting some feedback. Okay, so hips round, Koshi. And of the way. And back the other way. Okay, now just go Haisukadachi. So remember Haisukadachi. I'm going to talk about this in detail within uh, um, uh, 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 Kata as we go over the next sort of few weeks, etc. Um, but Haisukadachi is feet together stance. Okay, Musubadachi, Shizuntai, is, is feet apart. So feet apart, we only use this form when we do the bow. Okay, but Haisukadachi is feet together. When we're still doing the warm-up, we haven't done the formal bow yet, so just feet together, Haisukadachi, and bring in the right knee up. Itch, and down, left knee, knee, sun, shi, go, rok, sich, hach, ku, and you. Okay, I had an involuntary kick there, so that's what we're gonna do now. So kick in, itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rok, sich, Touch, cool, and you. Yeah. Okay, and hips round. And the other way. Okay, left arm out, just punching the arms, nice and relaxed. Ish, ni, sun, shi, go, rok, sich, hutch, cool, jiu. Okay, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Ich, ni, sun, Chi, go, rock, sich, hach, ku, jiu. Okay, and relax. And bow, us. Okay, so remember, kneeling bow to start the lesson first of all. So if you need to um, ever adjust your gi, maybe your trousers or pants are a little bit too loose, your obi has come undone, as it does sometimes when we're doing uh, exercise warming up, then make sure you sort this out before you do your uh, ray, uh, your correct bow, or your sensei, and make sure that you are uh, turning the other way when you do this. So just turn around, sort your dogi, and your obi back together. So the real name for this uh, suit is uh, dogi, okay? So, uh, and the real name for Shotokan is Shotokan Karate Do. Okay, so what does do mean? What does do mean? Does anybody know the answer? I know Sensei Andy does, and I do. But what does do mean? What does do gi mean? Okay, and this is your obi. Uh, this is a kuru obi because this is a black belt. You have different coloured ones, so uh, aka obi would be red, owl obi would be blue, shiro obi would be white belt, um, to, uh, and continuing for the other colours. Please don't ask me to do the belts with the white stripes in. Okay, so um, important that your dogi is smart, important that you are smart when you come to train. Um, I don't personally like people that train outside of their dogi. That's just a personal point of view. Um, and and I, I, I prefer to train like this. I feel like I'm doing karate. I've tried to train in before without, uh, without a gi on and various things on holiday when you can't always train with a gi, but uh, I, don't, I don't personally like it. But um, everybody's, everybody's different, aren't they? Okay, so let's do a medium bow. So kiyotsuke, so again, this is masubadachi, masubadachi. Okay, so make sure you have room so you're able to, to do your bow correctly. And remember, as we said before, we're dropping straight down onto the left knee. 
So go down. Maintain your form and sit back into Caesar. And right, us. So remember, right leg up and step up with the left foot. And ready. Okay, as I said before, uh, different dojos, different senseis, different styles do the bow in many different forms, many different ways. Um, I think it's important that wherever you go, you respect the dojo you're at. Um, I, I personally would like to ask the uh, high grade black belts wherever I go, what, what, how's your form, how do you do the, the, the bow, etc. Um, I think it's, it's, it's impolite to do, to do things differently uh, when you're in somebody else's dojo. Okay, so uh, this evening we're going to do a little bit of kata, we'll do warm up with some proper punches. Um, and then we'll do the beginning part of uh, the five hand kata. Okay, so everybody ready? Os. Okay, left arm out. And just chop his wiki ten times. Itch. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hutch. Ku. Jo. And yai. And ready. Os. Okay, good, good, good. Step forward, uh, Gidambarai, and itch, and back. And change legs, Gidambarai, ish, and back. And step forward, Gidambarai, itch, and back. Ni, and back. Thump, and back. Shi, and back. Go, and back. Rook, and back. Sitch and back. Hutch and back. Cool and back. And you. And back. And me. Anyway. Okay, so practicing Yidan Baraya because the first kata we're going to do this evening is uh, Hian Shonen. Okay, now remember we're focusing just on the beginning of the kata. Um, I think until you understand kata. Um, you can learn all 26 as a, as a green belt. Um, I've actually seen people do that. Um, I remember seeing a group of uh, green belts at a kata competition doing ansu. Um, lovely. Didn't understand what they were doing and so therefore it didn't look like ansu. It looked like somebody had been taught a routine that looked like ansu. Hope that makes sense. Um, so, so from my perspective it's better to uh, work on the hian katas before you start rushing into learning lots and lots of other katas. Um, uh, too soon, too soon. I, I, don't get me wrong, when you're a younger grade and when you're a younger person, you really do want to learn all 26 as quickly as possible because it's exciting. But actually, if you learn kata properly, Hien Shodan is exciting. Um, now, my history is that uh, I, I'm famous for this kata within my dojo and that's because I failed my Dan grading, uh, my Shodan on Hien Shodan. Um, did a four hour grading, uh, I think I did okay from what I understand, and then I did three katas. To my understanding, they were okay, and then I got given here and showed down as a little bit of a curveball by one of the downgrades, and um, that was it. I, I completely froze and uh, didn't, didn't pass my grading, um, and quite rightly so. Uh, important that we don't ever forget where we started in karate, so we all start as white belts, and uh, we never should forget that. So regardless of the belt you wear now, it's, it's immaterial. We are all still white belts, just training and uh, are trying to work through things. And we should never forget the things that were taught by our senseis at the very beginning. We might change and adapt them and evolve them, and that's hopefully what you will happen to you over the period of time. But what's really important is that you don't forget the beginning. And I did, hence uh, me not passing my showdown the first time. It taught me a very big lesson and uh, made me appreciate kata far more because I don't think I did at the time. So when we start the kata, Okay, uh, important to, um, if I just show you the first couple of moves that we're going to do and then explain what I want us to do within this lesson. So I'm kind of just trying to get my angles correct in terms of this kata, so I apologise if I'm kind of um, not sure. I've got a couple of marks on the floor to try and give you an idea, so I stay within frame. And um, that, that's the most important thing uh, that you're able to see. So, Ray, first of all, Ray, yoi. Now for me, this is the most key point of the kata. As soon as the head lifts up, as soon as the head lifts up, we're in kata, okay? And this means we're in a battle, a battle with ourselves, imaginary opponents, whatever uh, concept you have in your head. You're not doing a routine, you are doing a battle. 
okay? So for me, I lift my head up, okay, and I put myself in a field. That's where I think I'm happiest doing kata, is literally in the open spaces or even on a beach, um, and, and, and I put myself there. And then I say the cat aloud. And the reason I do that is a battle cry, okay? It's, it's we're going into battle against these imaginary opponents. And then it brings life to the cat. It's the same as your kumite. If you don't uh, bring life to your partner, stroke opponent, then there's, there's no kumite. It's important to inject that bit in, in, in karate. So the incorrect way, right? Your hiyan shodan. Is, is there's no heart, there's no soul in that, uh, what you're saying, and, and you're just saying it for saying sake. So I think it's important to, um, to get this correct first of all. So, right, right leg in, right leg out. Kian Shodan! And then we are literally in the zone, ready to go. And I, I feel electrified by just by saying that, so that a little bit stronger. Um, now, I'm hopefully going to stay within camera shot to a point. This is the difficult one because it takes up the most space. Okay, but our first movement we do, once we've bowed, once we've set our kata, nice and strong, we look. So we're looking at our target that's coming in, okay, and whatever way it's attacking. So we're looking, and then we go to move our first move. And our hip, hip, hip will turn as we come into this position here. And I have to be careful because I've got units behind me, and I think the, my other half will kill me if I, I break those. So important, first of all, to look, Bring the hand up, your position, your position here, and then blocking strong. A gidambarai, so a gidambarai, which is why we practiced it at the beginning of the lesson. Here I might go out short, but I'm going to shorten my stance with ever so slightly. Step forward and punch oizuki, and then come back to the beginning. Now, it's, again, it's important that you understand what you're doing there, okay? From a white belt's perspective, or a lower grade uh, learning karate, and this is one of their first katas they learn, it's important to understand why we're doing what we're doing. Okay? And uh, the block is to block the opponent and then the attack is here. Black belts will think of it completely different, okay? and that's because their brains have uh, developed and evolved, and they will change things around. Their bunkai, which is the application of kata, how it actually works in real life, will have changed the move slightly. Um, so we're not going to go into that this evening, but possibly one, one time we may do that. So just nice and simply, right? Say your kata. Hiyan shodan. Look. Block strong. Okay, as I said before a few weeks ago, don't look down, look forwards. Feel your stance. If your stance doesn't feel right, push it down a little bit more. Make sure you're in the correct position. This hand should be here. Okay. Then from, from this position here, step forward. Oizuki. Ish. Okay, then slowly, this transition move, we turn the back leg through and gidambarai. I'm a little bit close to the units, so I'm going to have to be careful here. Pull up, then tetsuyuchi. Tetsuyuchi, hammer fist strike. This is more, um, more tejidachi, T stance, than it is anything else. Um, I've been taught a number of different ways over the years, but I, I like to use tejidachi. And tejidachi is a foot length away from your, your, your uh, training foot, so your rear foot. The hammer fist, this is a 90 degree angle, or should be, okay, so you pull up and strike, step forward, and punch. And then back to the beginning position of, of Yui. Now, I, mu I must apologise, I'm struggling with this floor a little bit, as I've said to you the last few weeks, it's freezing cold, um, and I'm sticking to it like glue this evening, which is bizarre. Um, so I don't know if uh, it's been clean today, but I can't say too much. So I, I need to be um, uh, mindful of the fact that that's, that's not going great, but... Uh, Bow and yoi. Hiyan shodan. Looking first, blocking strong. Okay, push your stance down if you don't think it's correct. Straighten your back if you don't think it's correct. Then pushing, contracting your muscles together as you push forwards. Oizuki. Oizuki. Make sure your elbow's tucked in. Look over your shoulder. Point through yoi position here. Slide the right leg back and turn. So the hip turns here. Okay. Then step forwards. Sorry, pull up and hammer fist. So pull up here and strike. Then step forward and punch. And back again. Which way? 
Not a great description there, so I'm going to do this again. So, us. Hian Shuran! Looking to the left. Spot the target. Coming in with an Oizuki, maybe my Yeri. Okay, so blocking strong. Itch! Okay, and hips that hand me here. I haven't said that, I don't think so, I'm going to now. Step forward. Oizuki. Looking behind. Sliding this leg. Turning, turning here, hip, okay, as if you're doing a gakazuki here, but no gakazuki, pull up, hammer fist, and oizuki, and back. So once more, right? Yoi, hi, yam, shodan, look, block, punch. Block, punch, punch. Right. I think um, most black belts will tell you that's the kata and maybe Taikyoku Shodan, which is more a Kion kata, is the, is the one they fear the most. And um, the reason for that is there's nowhere to hide. Basic technique, basic form, really really difficult I think to, to, to do and so that's why you need to spend this time just getting those first few moves to go correctly um, because uh, little point in moving on to the other 16 moves after this if, if you don't um, get the first bit correct if that makes sense. Um, I find this a really difficult kata uh, I think there's an element of um, not fear I think because that went quite a few years ago um, but but uh, there's, a, there's an element in the back of my head that will always say you weren't good enough uh, on a particular day and so therefore I think it's one where I'm kind of maybe over critical uh, of myself uh, in, in terms of kata. Um, I've moved on since uh, failing my black belt, considerably so, that was in 1994. So I, th I think uh, for, for, for me, um, you know, we have to challenge our, our demons within karate and there are katas that are always going to stump us. And techniques are always going to stump us, um, but the key thing is to keep trying and keep doing them. Um, I've never pretended to be super special at karate, full stop, um, but uh, as you can hopefully can tell, I have an uh, immense amount of passion for it, and, and that's, that's why I keep going, that's why I keep teaching, that's why I keep training um, and learning, and, and that's the biggest thing for me, is, is that learning aspect of it. Um, there are people that are far more technically gifted and better than me, um, 100%, um, and, and I look to those in utter awe um, and, and try to learn from them. But we're not all that great, we're not all Olympians, we're not all superstars. Um, so, so the rest of us, we have to work with what we've got and, and that's the key thing and that's, that's your average dojo. Your average dojo is people just doing their best and uh, gambate in Japanese and, and, and having a go. And I think that's the key thing. Okay, so wait. Just a couple more times on Hian Shodan. Okay, so wait, us. Hey, oi. Looking and blocking. Step forward and punch. Slide in front of the back. Nice hit and right position here. Hammer fist. Tetsui strong. And punch. And obviously from there we'll move to Gidan Rai, Yuki's, etc. I, I don't have the space to do that in my kitchen. Um, <laughs> And uh, we tried it earlier, it's not going to work, certainly not from a camera perspective as well. So a uh, couple of times now, just here and show down the beginning, and we move on, we move on to here and there. Okay, uh, so right, us. Hey, yoi. Here and strong. Looking first, blocking strong. Relax the body here, relax the body, make sure your hips are handy. Okay, and then you explode, you explode forward into your punch. Okay, then when we're looking, we're looking, we're turning here strong. Okay, again, make sure those hips are here, hammy position here. So then you can follow the Gakazuki should you have to. Pull up and hammer fist strike. Again, I use Tejidachi T stance, uh, different dojos, different, different ways of doing this. 90 degree angle here, step forwards, Oizuki punch. Squeezing the elbow in. But when we say squeeze, we don't need tense and bring the shoulders up. And right. I can squeeze my elbow in without 
tensing my shoulder up. I can do it with my shoulder, which is here. And we're not trying to do that, we're just we're trying to squeeze this part of the body and let this drop. The squeeze is easier, I'll show you this way around, the squeeze is easier if I tense the shoulder, the squeeze becomes difficult because I'm fighting against my own, my, my own self. If I relax the shoulder, the, the arm comes in much easier. So we actually perform better uh, when our body's relaxed and, and we should only uh, have that contraction point of Kime uh, as we, as we uh, strike whatever it is we would be striking. Otherwise we are too tense all the time, karate then looks slow, um, I think mine's getting slower anyway through age, but, but it's, it, it's important that we, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say, it's, it's, it's important that we understand um, why we're doing what we're doing and doing it the best way that we can, the best way that we can perform it, um, and that's what's really important in, in, in karate. Okay, so that's uh, the beginning of Hien Shodan. Okay, so for juniors or even adults, um, that is red belt kata, um, uh, sort of ninth Q area. But please remember, that can be thrown at you at any point. Um, and uh, I think it's one of the most challenging katas there is because there's nowhere to, to move in terms of, there's no, no excuses. There's no really difficult kicks, there's no jumping kicks, there's no difficult, super difficult turns. Um, the bunkai is relatively simple. Um, I don't think we had much excuse on that one. So try not to make those excuses. Try to challenge yourself and work on the difficult katas. Okay, so uh, kata number two then. Now you're going to need to move forward probably about sort of, um, I don't know, a couple of feet. So uh, about half a metre forwards if there's anything behind you. <laughs> so I'm starting here a little bit further forward because if I kick Yagi Gary behind, I will take out Brian, our dojo mascot, um, and probably the back of the house, uh, which probably won't go down too well uh, with the rest of the family. Um, so, so it's important to make sure, again, you've got space. If you can't to the Kiagi Gary, that's fine. Uh, please don't worry too much on that. Um, it's more the beginning of the kata that I want us to, to focus on this evening. So, uh, ready? Os. Okay, remember again when we raid, it's 45 degrees Masubadachi and not Haisukudachi, which is the feet together stance that we did earlier. Okay, ready? Os. Hey, oi. Hiyang, hiyang. So again, it's that battle cry, looking straight ahead, telling you, telling your opponents, those people that are coming to attack you, you're ready for them. Okay, and then staying focused. And then you're looking at them. Looking, looking, and looking. All the time, putting yourself in that that battle, that position. I think it's really difficult to start off as a lower grade, but it, it, important as we progress through karate to under, have that understanding that we are actually in an imaginary battle and we're able to freely practice our techniques as strong and as powerfully as we can. We can't do that with each other in the dojo because we wouldn't have a dojo. But it's important then that we're able to express ourselves in this, in this particular way. It's also super enjoyable. Okay, great. Okay, so the first move, I'm going to struggle here because my feet are stuck to this floor, but the first move, the, the leg slides out into back stance, I might have to not do that this evening, okay, um, and, and the hands come to Koshi Kamai position here, but only momentarily do they come to the hip, okay, Koshi Kamai just means hip position, uh, Koshi or Koshi uh, means uh, uh, hip or, or Koshi, ball of the foot, okay, and uh, Kamai is, um, is, is position, okay, so Looking first to this position here. So here and then up. Okay, we're looking for a double, double augmented block here. We're looking for a right angle here and a right angle here. Okay, so wherever you think that is, you've probably got to bring it in about half an inch. Um, and we're in Kukutsudachi. Kukutsudachi is back stance. Okay, so us. So here and then down. Looking and blocking strong, okay? Don't worry too much about the uh, stance just at this second, okay? More focus on the arms. So bringing the arms up, make sure we've got this good box section and you're looking between the fists here, looking between the fists. The next technique then is the left hand comes in to this position here. This is like an arazuki, okay? But we're sort of grabbing the person and punching here. And then tetsui uchi. Now we did Tetsui in the previous kata in Hien Shodan, and we did it uh, Tati, Tati's vertical. This time we're doing it horizontally. 
Okay, so Yoko, Yoko Tetsuyuchi. Boss. Okay, so once more, just from this position here, blocking and here. Koshikamai position to here, to here. Bring this elbow in as much as you can. Having techniques like this just, uh, it's not correct. So the body position needs to be here. Bring this, open this body up. And you can only do this if you're relaxed here. Yeah, if you're tense, nothing moves. Nothing moves in karate if you're tense. So we must relax, must relax, open up. Okay, and back again. And ready? So now, oss. Hey, oi. Here, nido. So position here. Block and strike. Up, block and strike. And from here, there's a transitional move here. There's not a stance um, as such, or certainly my interpretation. This is just a transitional move. Now, I think when I was first taught this kata, we were very much taught to stop. But Koshi Kamai position in this halfway house stroke, non stance transition position, and then kick and back fist. Okay? Um, I, I, I'm not teaching it that way anymore. Certainly, that's the way I taught it, but it's not the way I teach it. The way I teach it is it's better to move up and make this a, tr a transitional move that finishes with the Iraq and Kiyagi, which is where we're going to finish this element of the kata. So, from, from this position here, from the Tetsuyuchi here, it's very much about coming up here and kicking together to, to, to this position and, and not stopping. Again, different senseis teach this differently wherever they go. You may be taught it one way, so particularly if you're a yellow belt, green belt, and this is your grading kata, your sensei might, particularly juniors, do the half step up, because I think it helps them to understand better and break the kata down. But certainly from a black belt perspective, we're just transitioning through that move into the Yurak and Kiyagi. Okay, so once, once more. Um, you must forgive me if I'm looking down this evening. I have a couple of markers on the floor. Um, for deliberate reason, and that is that I don't smash anything in the kitchen. I have been warned, and if I do, then I will be in trouble, and uh, uh, my lockdown may be over. Okay, so it's important that I uh, get to these positions where I know I'm safe, and I think you need to do that yourselves as well, training in your own dojos. Okay, so ready? Hey, oi. Hiyan niyan. Looking, blocking, striking. Looking, blocking, striking. Stepping up, Koshi Kamai. So we're going to stop here, okay, just for a moment. And I'm going to change angles. So we're here. Okay, and what we're doing behind us is a Yurakunuchi. So we did this the other day. Okay, so it comes from the hip, from, from Koshi Kamai position here. Okay, and as we do, we bring the leg up and we're kicking Kiyagi Geri. Now, again, we did this the other day. We did this uh, a couple of Thursdays ago. Okay, and so bringing the two together, Yurak and Kiyagi. Okay, we use this as well in a number of other katas like uh, Hiyan Yondang, Kanku Dai, uh, for, for example. Um, and I think from a, from a yellow belt, green belt perspective, this is when kata gets like, wow, we've just done an amazing kick. Um, and for me, uh, definitely, this is what sparks my interest. It's when you start to put the uh, kicks into to, to kata that I start to really enjoy it, because I enjoy kicks. Um, E e even now. So we're here this time, we're going to back fist, but we don't want to back fist and then kick. We don't want to kick and then back fist. We have to try to meet the two together. And that's not easy. Um, we said the other day about the leg being a big limb to lift up and the arm being much smaller and faster. So to connect the two is not easy. I think it's easier to just chuck your leg in the air and throw your arm in the air. Um, better to be slower, lower, and more deliberate in terms of your delivery of both techniques. So the Urakan has to have a uh, purpose and the Kiyagigiri has to have purpose. So they work together. And, and you may need to start low, okay? And you may need to, um, or if you're kicking high, bring your legs down to make this more controlled. So we're in this position here from Koshikamai, looking where we're going, we're gonna back fist together here and connect to Kiyagigiri here. And then turn Shitochi. So go back to this position here. A tetsui uchi. Come up to koshi kamai. To here. Shutochi. Okay. And again, remember, shutochi 
45, uh, sorry, 90 degrees, maths is not my strong subject, 90 degree angle with all the blocks that we're doing apart from Gidan Barai. I hope that makes sense and I hope you now understand my difficulties in trying to get Kata to come across on a camera in a small confined space. It's particularly difficult. I've been watching loads of stuff on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, senses all around the world are trying to do this to keep their uh, dojos interested in the, the thing that they love doing. And um, you see many of them shorten their stances and do kata within a metre space, which is brilliant. It's really good for us black belts. Um, but it's not great for people learning kata. Um, much lower grades will get confused by the half steps that we're having to put in to fit in the space. Um, once you've learned to kata, you're able to do that, but, but, but certainly not before. So I'm not going to try to do that this evening. I'm just going to try to do these basic stances and starts as, as we can. So again, Masubadachi, hang ready, os. Hey, boy. So looking first, blocking one and striking two. One, two. Step up. And here. And yummy. And right. I'm not going to lie, that's the best feeling Kiyagi I've done in probably about three years. Uh, this is my knee that I had lots of surgery on, so um, when I get a good Kiyagi, I know that I'm doing okay. Um, okay, so uh, again, we'll start that again and we'll move on to Hian Sandan. Okay, so just a couple more times. So, ready? Os. Hey, boy. Hian Nidan. Ich. Mi. Sam. Okay. And now, mate. I hope that is, is coming across reasonably well. Um, whilst I'm talking to you, I'm occasionally looking at the uh, camera to, to see uh, what I look like on camera. And it's got awful, isn't it? But there you go. Uh, we're our own worst enemies, I think, in karate. Most of the time. Last time. Right. Ich, Misa, Ich, Hanyami, Amayos, and Inoi, relax. Okay, good. So, kata one, kata two done. Uh, Hian uh, means uh, my understanding of this, and uh, some of my Japanese friends will no doubt correct me, will be, uh, means peaceful. Okay, and um, when I first went to Japan a long time ago, um, I went to uh, the Hian Temple in Kyoto, and um, it's still one of my favourite places on the whole of the planet. And I was fortunate enough to take my family there in 2016 with Akita Sensei and uh, my good friend Carl, and um, we went to the Hian Temple, and I said to my family, you're not going to believe this place when you walk in. So you have in front of you the temple, and then behind you, you have one of the biggest Tori gates in Japan, and it may even be the biggest. And you have the bustling city of Kyoto, which used to be the capital of Japan. And it's just crazy noise. Crazy noise all around you. And, I, and I, this is the truth. You walk through the gates of the Hiam Temple, and you have nothing but silence. And you can hear butterflies floating past you. I, I genuinely mean this, and I've been there twice, and it's been the same impact on me both times. Hence, it's one of my favourite places. There's also a beautiful dragon's back that winds across the lake and stepping stones. It's quite intimidating and scary to do to start with, uh, um, but once you're on it and you, you go for it, it's, it's quite a long one. There's at least 50 steps. Um, it's just the most stunning place um, to do it. And that's where the word hiang, I think, comes from, is that, that word peaceful, peaceful form. And then, of course, shodan, nidan, sandan, yongdan, godan, just means first level to through to the fifth level. So we're going to move on um, to... Kata number three, which is Hian Sandan. Okay, so uh, for, from our association, our organisation, this kata is, is learnt at um, yellow belt to green belt, green and white stripe if you're a junior. Um, and moving up towards uh, purple belt sort of uh, um, area, sort of uh, uh, in terms of karate. This will become a second kata almost certainly within the, if you're a purple belt to, that's, that's graded. So, start is very similar to. Um, uh, from, from a lower level perspective to Hiyami Dan, because we're going into Kukutsudachi, back stance. But then we're going to introduce uh, two, two new blocks, and that's Kozuuki. Kozuuki. 
okay, and uchi uki, uchi uki. So just to show you, we re and yoi, hian sandan. So we're looking first, inside blocking back starts, each, okay, just squeeze your stance down or let it relax, actually not squeeze, more drop, more, more let the gravity take the weight of the stance. And then the back leg comes up, and as you do, you, you're punching forwards with this hand, okay, and blocking once, and blocking twice. And, and the way that that looks is here and here. Okay, not too close, not too far apart, so here and here. One is a gidambarai, okay, gidambarai, and the other one is uchiyuki, uchiyuki, so inside block. Together, Together, koza means uh, cross. So koza dachi, cross leg stance. Um, uh, so so, so that's, that's my interpretation of it. So once more from the beginning. Uh, Masudachi again, remember to start. Important to, I know we're not doing the whole kata, but it's important for me that you understand how important the start is. Um, we haven't done the finish, okay, and we may do that later on, because I think that's just as important, but we're not gonna do that this evening. Um, because we're not going to have enough time. But it's important to get the, cra the correct form when we're doing kata, um, uh, whether it be competition, grading, uh, dojo, your own dojo, etc. etc. Okay, right, os. Hey, oi. Kian sandan. So looking first, inside rock in kakutsudachi, kakutsudachi's back stance, each. Okay, and again, relax those shoulders, drop the, drop the, um, make sure the elbow here is, 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 is nice and squeezed in, but remember that, what we said earlier, the relax, back squeeze, come together, cross arm block one, and two. And then from there, turn, look first, always important to look in, in, in karate, and particularly kata, looking at your next opponent, the second person's coming in, turning, blocking again, kukutsudachi, and step up, kozuki, and kozuki. And then we'll move to uh, morotoki, augmented block afterwards. I'm standing here in the kitchen, and every time I face to my right, I see a beautiful field, and I'm thinking, it might be better to video it out there. <laughs> this evening is stunning. Uh, we, we get the sunset over our field uh, this time of the evening, and it's just beautiful. Um, I've, got, I've got to be honest though, the, the field that I'm looking at on is um, uh, set aside land, so the farmers don't farm it, um, they only cut it back every couple of years and uh, we're in the zone at the moment where if I went in there you wouldn't see me. <laughs> so uh, um, may, maybe at some point in the future if that grass gets cut we'll do, do a lesson out there because it is lovely, uh, especially as the sun sets. Um, my students will tell you, my black belts in particular, that um, at our pot and dojo, uh, where we've been for 25 years this year, we enjoy so much being able to train on the field. Um, being able to train on the earth as opposed to concrete, woods, laminated floors, etc. Um, it is really enlightening stuff. Your feet and the earth connect. It's the same as when you're on the beach, it's the same as when you're in a rice field. It's, it's a connection is better. Uh, everything is better. Um, that's just a personal thing. Okay, so right, what's... Hey, boy. So, hian sandan, looking, blocking uchi uchi strong, and then relaxing the body, come together, one and two. Koza uchi, koza uchi. Looking over the right side, turn the inside off. Okay, again, just sit down in your stance, just let yourself, your weight drop, okay, as opposed to squeezing, just let it drop, gravity take, take over. One and two. Anyway. Out of the five here in Katas, the, this, this has to be the forgotten one. Um, I think as a, as a Q grade, uh, this is the one that no one did in competitions. This is the one that if you had a choice, I think as a black belt to choose a Hien Kata of choice, you'd probably forget this one. Um, there are a few people that like it and I really love it. I think it's a great Kata, but it is definitely forgotten. Don't see it much in... Uh, uh, in competitions or anything like that, so um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a really undervalued, I think, kata. Lots of really exciting bunkai that's involved in it, um, and, and some really unusual moves as well. So again, I think from a learning perspective, um, this is really interesting for students, and there's a progression definitely from here, Niden, 
which has the fantastic kick of Yoko Yurak and Kyagigiri, um, to, to this, which has this fantastic knee up and fumikomis that, that are in there. It's just absolutely brilliant. So, uh, undervalued, but still uh, very good. Okay, so once more, please bow. Right? Oss. Ayoi. Hiyan Sandan. Looking and rocking. Ich. Step up. One, two. And three, four. So here, hold this position. So one and two. One and two. One and two. And Kimei is only on the end. Kimei is only on the end. Okay, and you understand what we mean by Kimei is that tension, tension. Notice my stance, okay? This is really crucial that students understand this and, and we as instructors perform it correctly every time. Hai Sukadachi. Hai Sukadachi is feet together, okay? And uh, my, my good friend Andy will tell you that I get, my pet hate is seeing people at gradings doing this. Okay, we get into this position within this kata, okay? And people's feet like this, they're Musubarachi. So are they about to bow, or what are, what are they doing? So it's really important to understand what's correct and what isn't correct, and what isn't correct is what we mustn't do. Um, I think if you uh, allow uh, those, those bits to come in, then you, you, you start to lose the way, okay? The, the, the Shotokan way is a way. You have to follow it to, 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 um, to some, some degree. Uh, you find your own way, as I've said previously before, but, but you have to follow the way in some way. <laughs> that makes sense. Probably, probably not. Probably waffling as I usually do, but I, uh, I like waffling. Wait. Ayoi. Kian Sangam. And blocking itch. Ni. Sang. Shi. Avax. Okay, uh, I must apologise, I'm sticking to this floor like glue now, so um, it's, not, it's not going great. Uh, it's taken a few hours to set this up this evening as well to get the table out of the way. We have a gigantic uh, oak table that weighs a ton, so me and Debbie have been moving furniture around to at least make some space. Okay, uh, we move on to... Um, one of my favourite uh, Hian Katas, used to be my favourite by a long way because I uh, said to you before I love kicks. Uh, Gary or Kerry are my favourite things in terms of uh, karate. Um, and this has six. Six in total. So um, if you can remember where they all are, then I think that's really important that uh, you're able to understand that this is a kicking kata. Um, and it's really, really good fun for that reason. However, the first few moves of it are... Uh, very much a, a set apart from, from the rest of the kata, which is quite exciting and dynamic. The first part is done very slowly, um, so we're ready. Okay, and again, I'm going to struggle here a little bit because of, uh, I'm sticking to the floor. But you, you drop your weight down, okay, and your hands just open. Okay, so here, knee down, we came from here to here. The, the, the form that we're going to create is this which is not dissimilar except the closed fist. We've got open hands, okay? So, hey shoot, backhand, here. So, the, the form is not dissimilar, and the technique, the start is not dissimilar, except the yongdan is much slower. So, here and yongdan, it's bang, it's straight up, whereas here and yongdan is very much slide, and hold your position, and then slide. So, much, much slower, more deliberate. Um, and again, I quite often get asked, uh, well, Sensei, that's no good against someone attacking you. Y yeah, the, the certain catters have elements which are slow, some bits are fast. The bunkai may vary from that. Yes, I agree, you wouldn't block like that in real life. Not at that speed, uh, but you could use that block. This is a fantastic block, which I could go into, but we're not going to this evening. So once let's start. Hiyan yong Okay, so we're letting the weight drop down. The hands open and we look. So this is connected together. Drop. And slowly up. Create those 90 degree angles as best you think you can. If you think you're there, you probably need to bring it in half an inch. Okay, then we shift the weight onto the back leg. Let the hands drop down, let gravity take them. And then slowly bring them back up. And again, as previously, I'm looking between my hands here as we were in uh, here and you down. So we're able to see through. So here, 
And then from here, keeping the shoulder low, not bringing the arm up. Jujuki, Jujuki, X, X block. Um, yeah, X block. Okay, and that position there is where we'll go to. And relax. A little thing about Jujuki, uh, the fists need to be a vertical tatty. Okay, if you imagine that you're blocking a kick, and this is very good for blocking kicks, because we're using both arms, we're getting strength. Okay, we're using both sets of bones, um, so uh, humerus or radius and ulna, sorry. Um, yeah, us, I think that's correct. Um, we're using both together, connected to Seiken, okay, the, the full fist, or Seiken, because I think I've been pronouncing this wrong for about 30 years. Um, I've been taking Japanese classes um, uh, from a um, friend of Sensei Akita's, I think, on YouTube, and uh, I've just realised that some of our pronunciations are not correct. But hey, uh, they're, they're westernised, I'm sure, in some way. But, but we're connecting Seiken with these two bones here, and then here, and, and we're, we're making sure, that's the humerus, we're making sure that this is, has strength, okay, connecting the bones, if that makes sense. If we rotate the hands here, okay, what we're doing is allowing the person's punch or strike or kick to hit our fourth and fifth metacarpal, which uh, these are tiny little bones, and I know because I've broken mine very badly once, um, uh, and they just snap really. These are good, strong fists, as you can see, strong bones. So our fist is super important in karate. So, so this is wrong, this is correct. Okay, so make sure you have this position here. Okay, so back again to the kata. Right. Hey, oi. And say the kata. And each. Hey, ni. Sam. And yai. Lots of uh, interesting facts about this kata, and I could go on for the whole evening and bore you all to death, but uh, we'll do that one evening, maybe. Um, uh, possibly with a beer in our hand, I should imagine. Um, so once more, hiyam yon dan. Hare os. And say kata. Hiyam yon dan. Ich. Hey, ni. Sun and Yami. And once more, once more, last time, and uh, just conscious of time. Uh, so, so we'll do this the last time for Hian Yong Dan and move on to Go Dan uh, before we finish the lesson. Um, just, just over the hour this evening, I think, probably. Okay, so right. Hian Yong Dan! Itch! Me, Sun, and Yamai, and Rekos, and relax. I'm sorry, I'm not sliding like I normally do. <laughs> I'm sticking to the floor as I go, I can feel it. Uh, yeah, Us. Um, so move on quickly then to Hian Godan. So this is my favourite, okay? Uh, it's been my favourite Hian Kata for, for quite a few years now. Um, I thoroughly enjoy the jump, even though I've had knee surgery, I am able to uh, well, land on my strong leg, which is full of metal from another injury, um, and, and, and so I'm able to come down quite comfortably and still do the jump, and I really enjoy this jump because I'm able to do it. Um, I struggle more on um, jumps like Unsu. Unsu has a, a 360 degree jump, and uh, MP as well. Uh, don't, I don't cope as well with the rotational jumps, so that's one of those things that you know I've highlighted over the years that you should have to practice, and I do. Uh, but those jumps that I can complete really strongly and well, and this is one of them, um, I really, really enjoy it. I also like the technicalities of this kata. Um, it's very powerful as well. I think it's one of the strongest, if not the strongest, of the hearing katas, um, using different techniques uh, from, 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 from previous katas. Okay, so right, us. Hey, oi. Okay, so this kata is hiyang ran. And our first move we've already done, so uchi uki, inside blocking back stance. We've already done this in uh, hiyang sandan. So first move, we're going to be looking each and strong inside blocking kukutsudachi. Then we'll do a nice long yakazuki. So here, 
but not to bring the shoulder up, just keep the shoulder down. Slowly bring the right leg up. And you want the feet, the hands, the hips, all to finish together as your Kagazuki lands, punching to the right. Okay? So everything there is connected. And for me, I think that's why I first enjoyed this kata, was trying to get that connection so that the body completed together. Um, I, I think I've always uh, found that difficult and challenging. And so when I connected on this particular kata, after many years of training, um, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good that you're starting to get and understand the kata. So right? I'm going to break it down a little bit more, so make it slower. So looking first, dropping into back stance, and I'm not going to move on this floor, I don't think, anymore, because I'm just sticking to the whole thing. So once more, so ready? Here I go down. Looking inside lock. Gyakazuki. Slowly bring the right leg up as you look to the right. As your head comes around, Connect. Inside lock. Punch Gakazuki. Shoulder down, not up. Shoulder down and connect. Here. Don't force your knees down. Don't push down like this. Um, naturally, let the, let the hips, hips drop. So let gravity take over. Just relax, okay? So let your horror just drop, just here. Not <coughs> forcing it down. Um, we, we shouldn't be forcing things like that in, in, in karate. So once more. Hi -yang -yang! So once more, first of all, inside lock, Gyakazuki, shoulder down, Kagazuki, feet together, Haisukudachi, remember I said earlier, Haisukudachi, feet together stance, inside lock, Uchuki, Gyakazuki, shoulder down, Kagazuki, hooking punch, High sukadachi, feet together. You don't need to look at these, you just need to feel yeah, that your toes are touching, or the balls of your feet are touching, and the heels are touching. Um, it's really, really important that we understand that this is not good enough. This is good, this is good. Okay, so once more here in Gordon. I'm very conscious of time, so we're going to run it over run by five minutes at the most. Um, so, right. Yoi. Strong yoi. Stay focused, look straight ahead. Looking inside of each. Hey, me. Sun. Ish. Me. Sun. And then ready to go through to Moroto Uki. Um, again. Right, last time then, he and go down. Right, us. He and go down. Itch. Me. Sam. Chi. Go. Um, I hope that's come across some way, some way. It's really difficult because I can't look at you, I can't show you what I'm trying to say and get you to understand what I'm trying to do. Um, I think sometimes I don't explain myself as well as I do things or I don't do things as well as I explain them. So um, we always, always have this uh, inner battle, I think. Um, and one thing I will say is that Kata is 
or was where I was probably my most uncomfortable in, in karate as a younger grade uh, and even as a black belt. So I think it's important that um, you acknowledge those things and, and you battle with them and you keep fighting and that's probably why I found my black belt. I didn't find my black belt initially on my kumite or my kion, it was my kata. So it's really important that we um, work on those elements that we find challenging and difficult and I still find kata challenging and difficult and that's why I find it so exciting and so interesting um, and that's ultimately why I enjoy it so much. It is ultimately a battle. The dog is back. Ah, oh, us, Holly son. Hey, don't worry, I got to us. Us, Holly. Hello, little girl. Hello. Did you have a good walk? Yeah. Hey. Us. Okay, so crazy things might happen now, um, but uh, I have a challenge. I have a challenge for you before we do the dojo kun and sign off this evening, and the challenge is this. Um, one of our fantastic black belts came up with a wicked idea that I'm going to share with the black belts uh, later on. And, um, well, I'm going to share with you now if you're watching. He thought it would be a great idea to, um, oh, we have light. He thought it would be a great idea for us to um, try to do uh, some form of um, online kata challenge. Okay, so this is the challenge, quite simply. Junior grades, so all junior grades, this is anybody under the age of uh, 16. Okay, I would like you to perform a uh, perform Hien Showdown. Okay, the kata. You can do it in full, ideally, but if you don't have room in your house, then just do maybe one element of it. Okay, and uh, black belts, we are going to, and I'll get a message you later, we are going to do Kenku Dai. Okay, now again, ideally, we want this done in whole because what we're going to do is then cut the parts of everybody who takes part and make a kata with lots of different people. Hope that makes sense. I think it's gonna look really, really cool. So for instance, I would start the first down the block, Sensi Andy would do the Oizuki, other Sensi Andy, the old one, he would do the down the block, Sensi Mark would do the hammer fist, okay? Then uh, Sensi Sharon would do the next punch, Sensi Ian would do the next block, Sensi Ken would do the next block, Sensi John would do the next, and, and we connect everybody's videos together, and I have a specialist to do that, and we um, uh, make a video of, of everybody doing their kata together. Um, I've not seen this done before, but I've heard it's been done online and I've heard it's super cool and super exciting. So I think we're going to have a challenge then, the junior grades, okay, versus the, the Udansha, the black belts. And, and let's see who's better. I'm going to have a public vote and um, I think I know who's going to win. Um, so, so that's going to be the challenge, okay? Um, so we're going to get as many black belts involved as we can and we get as many young people as we can as well. <laughs> Oh, this is where the dog goes mad, by the way. She's had a walk, and then she gets her toys and just goes absolutely crazy. Holly, I'm going to do the dojo-kun. Okay, so, us. Let's finish the lesson this evening by the dojo-kun. So please, Ray, us. Dojo-kun. Hitots jinkan kukan se ni suramoto koto. Hitots makato no michi o muuro koto. Hitots. Doreoko no seishin yashina okoto. Hitots regio omonjuro okoto. Hitots kekki no yo imashimuru koto. I'm ready. Not going to do an alien bow because as soon as I go down, the dog's going to come and lick my face, and I'll be perfectly honest, I would rather not that happen. Um, I, I, I love my dog, but not the fact that she licks my face. Disgusting. So, uh, thank you so much again for participating, um, and uh, I'm going to try and put this up on YouTube as I have done the other um, uh, classes that we've done, just so you can recap on it. Um, we're shooting in uh, portrait mode at the moment because horizontally we seem to be getting the rest of the kitchen. Um, and the dog is literally going crazy. So, any suggestions as per, per normal? Um, if you like this, what we did this evening, um, we, can, we can do something similar again. Um, I think doing the whole kata in, in, in particularly this, this small environment is going to be challenging. But again, maybe, maybe I can do that for, for one of the Hian Katas um, and try to explain it as we walk through it. So again, any suggestions that you'd like to put forward, it'd be great. Any suggestions for lessons or things that you'd like me to cover um, whilst we're uh, still under lockdown. Um, you know, hopefully I, I want you to keep training. I want you to keep doing loving karate um, and, and then come back to our dojos. Um, the martial arts community is, is a big family and particularly Shotokan 
I think is a wonderful family um, and we need to continue sharing this passion and uh, next generation and generation after so this continues uh, um, uh, as, as we move forwards. Um, we will beat the coronavirus, I have no doubt about it. Uh, martial arts um, uh, people like ourselves are strong-willed, strong-minded, strong-bodied and uh, together we can definitely uh, beat it. Um, and we'll be back together as sooner, no sooner than later. And uh, Andy Sensei will get a great big hug from me that's going to last at least three minutes. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off because I'm waffling. Um, remember the challenge, so juniors, he and Shodan, and black belts, I'm going to message you shortly to say that we're doing Kenku Dai, uh, which will be a challenge. Kiyotsuke, oyosumasai, arigato gozaimasu. Os, 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 good night, good night, come on, os, os, jamatane. Holy son, what have you got here? What's this? It's got slobber on it. It's disgusting. You are burnt out, aren't you? Hey, what's up? Are you pooped? Oh, oh what's up? Dear good girl. Boss, good night, good night, good night.